had an awesome Thursday. Today is October 18th and I am recording a dorm room tour. Oh my goodness, I'm finally recording a dorm room tour. Uh, yeah, so I was gonna do this like after I left, but I was like, this new camera just came in, I'm gonna record it now. So yeah, as you saw from the beginning part, I live in Chesapeake Hall. Uh, it's like apartments, whatever, I mean, you're gonna see it but yeah so this is actually like a two-part video the other part I'm not gonna do it until I get home it's my true experiences living in Chesapeake Hall cuz it wasn't good but it wasn't bad but you know what that's another video but yeah without further ado I'm gonna take y'all inside so when you come to the area where Chesapeake Hall is, this is what you see. St. Martin is right next door, but that's not what we're focused on. You got tables outside, umbrellas. Uh, some of the tables have this little charging thing on it. And yeah, we're gonna walk up three flights of stairs to get up to my room. Let's go. Just a tidbit, when I was moving in on move-in day, this area right here was blazing hot. So that's just a warning. But you need your key card to access your apartment and also to get into your room. So yeah, you can never lose this piece of plastic. It's very important. So here's a quick overview of the apartment. You come in and this is what you see. You have your sofa with your, I think it's called a love seat and your other chair. You got a table, you got a few tables actually. Uh, somebody brought this nice rug. Uh, you got a wall where you can put stuff up. You got your dining room set. You got your kitchen, you got all that in here, refrigerator, so it's a nice apartment. Um, you could probably see that it's not the cleanest at the moment, but you know what? That's a, that's a whole other video where I'm gonna talk about that, but that's not what we're focused on. You also have this little closet area over here where you could put stuff, so yeah, that's this area. So moving right along, here's the rest of the apartment. There are four rooms and each room is a double room, which equates to eight people in this lovely apartment. You have two bathrooms, one on that side and one on this side. Four person per bathroom, this is what it looks like. You have your toilet, don't take a toilet seat for granted, people. If you live in a house where you have a toilet seat, just appreciate that, I'm just saying. Uh, you have a sink over there and here's your shower the shower is kind of small but you know it's it's it is what it is I guess this whole bathroom is kind of small if you ask me but you know I mean it's college what do you want something luxury that's not what you're gonna get uh, and moving outside here's your washer and dryer I like the washer and dryer I also like when people don't leave their clothes in there but like I said story for another time also if you are vertically challenged like me you may have an issue getting up in that dryer so yes yeah, step stools are what I would encourage you to invest in but all right let's go into the room all right so this is what the room looks like i share a room with dior who doesn't want to be in a video with me she's also not here so yeah shout out to you on the back of the door we'll start here this is where we hang up our towels yeah that's that spot spot to hang up your towels i'm also not sure what that says i think it's like an escape route but you know yeah if you ever need to run up out of here story for another time uh this is the closet there's two one for me one for dior uh, on my closet i have my mirror i also have some pictures on there of some friends but basically i'm gonna link another video down below uh one that i did already when i went to target you know the dorm room hall kind of thing because pretty much everything that you're gonna see i've kind of already done a video on this is just basically showing you what it looks like in here and how it's all arranged uh, this is Dior's side. She has this nice little fluffy rug. I'm not sure where she got it from, but if you're interested, I can ask her. Uh, opening up the closet door, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a lot of space, and I like it. I think it's a lot of space for me. You know, I didn't bring my whole wardrobe, but it's a nice size closet. You got a shelf up there where I keep my extra towels and laundry detergent and essential oils and you even have like a whole shelf up there where I keep miscellaneous stuff so good amount of space and closing the closet door I have my little trash can right here so that's this section so in the room you also get a desk it comes with the desk of course 
uh, this little shelf part. Not sure what it's called, but it comes with this. And you also get a chair. So, on my chair, this is a blanket that I got from church. The ladies from church knit this for me. I thought that was really nice. Uh, usually I have a coat or some other sort of clothes kind of just draped over top of the back of the chair. But for this video, I cleaned up a little bit, so it's not there. I also have this pillow sitting here. I like to hug onto it when I'm stressed out, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I keep a notepad right here. It says adulting. Probably got that from the Target dollar section. Uh, inside the drawer, I got some highlighters, some pencils, some whiteout tape and glue and some spoons for when I'm stirring up my coffee in the morning. Looks like I have some crackers in there. You know, it's just my miscellaneous drawer. Uh, over here, I have, man, a free coupon for boba tea. The desk was in here. Some headphones, just some more pictures. Everything in here is miscellaneous. This whole room is miscellaneous. You know what I'm saying? This drawer, color pencils. Is that Chick-fil-A sauce? Oh, like I said, like I said, I have a catalog. All right, just, just things like it's papers and whatnot. And I know what this drawer is. This drawer is my book. So I have my sketch pad right here. Um, biology book. My old planner that was too big. I actually ended up getting a different planner. My art textbook that I rarely open. My biology textbook that I rarely open. Just stuff, books, you know, school. I could tell you which books to and to not buy for certain classes because I'm barely using this stuff. Uh, usually on top of the desk, I have a whole bunch of stuff going on, but... Like I said, I cleaned it off for the sake of this video, but usually my laptop's here. I got a water bottle here. This is where I charge up my Apple Watch. Um, this lamp, got it from Target. It was probably on clearance. It has little sections in there. This is where I keep receipts and papers and all that fun stuff. Uh, it even comes with, ow. Oh my goodness, I stepped on a <laughs> thumbtack. Anyways. Um, this part, it came with chargers and stuff, which was really nice. And in there, that's where I keep my lovely earplugs. When you come to school, you're going to want to invest in some earplugs. I'm just being honest. Uh, you see, I have a pop socket right there that lost its stickiness for the back of my phone, but it clearly didn't lose any stickiness. It's stick right there. It's my clock. And on top, I have my two Nikon. Well, it won't be two Nikons because I'm clearly recording with one of them. But I have my Nikon camera. My essential oil bed spray the recipe I got off of Pinterest. It's basically lavender and I think Lang Lang. Is that how you pronounce it? Something. I could put it down in the description. I just spray that on my covers before I go to sleep. My diffuser is right there. I have this three drawer situation going on right here. I originally had labels on it, but I took those off. The first one is nail polish. I never paint my nails at this school. I'm way too busy, so yeah. Second drawer is earring, then lip gloss. Third drawer is the little bit of makeup that I decided to bring, like blush and some eye pencils and whatnot. Over there, I got my nail filer. Never use it because I don't do my nails. Um, I got a mirror. Hello. My second tripod that I have, tissue box. My take time to pray every day. Some aspirin. This is a thing that I got from Target, probably the clearance section as well. Basically, when I'm done with an assignment and it got graded already, I just stick it in here. Yep, just where I keep all my extra papers because I don't throw stuff away until the end of the year because you know these professors crazy and those dippy won't put in grades, you know? So I have it all in here. And that's my build a bunny just to remind me what I'm going to be wearing after two years at the school, you know, got to be reminded. And then over here, these three, um, what do you call them? Cork boards. I got them from, oh my goodness, did I get these from Target or was it Five Below? I don't know. I'll put the other video in the description box. But right now I just have some papers tacked on here. These were the hardest things to put up here because you see the wall is like bumpy. Like I can't stand this wall. But um, basically I just have some scholarship information, my code for my locker, Salisbury boba. I love them so much. All their flavors. Right now I'm loving the guava. That's why it has a heart next to it. Sweet frog coupon, coffee coupon, earthbound. That's where I went and got some essential oils, post office hours. Just anything I need to stick up here, just stick it on up here. As you can see, this one's kind of coming up. But yeah, that is this section. So this is usually where I have my backpack. It just kind of like sits on the side of the desk, but pushing that along over. 
Coming over here, I have this rug. Uh, it came from Target. Now, I know for sure this was Target, and this needs to be washed, you know. Oh, my goodness. I also have a step, sco uh, step stool because I'm vertically challenged, and what you'll find out coming to Salisbury and Chesapeake Hall, and I think all of the dorms are like this, actually. The beds are really high, but we'll get to that later. Um, I also keep a pillow under there. Those are a bunch of snacks because I'm going camping this weekend. And this little side pouch, I got this from Tar... No, I didn't. I got this from BJ's. This is really, really helpful. Oh, my goodness. I have my iPad in there that I never use. Can't believe I bought a whole iPad that I don't use. Uh, it has another pouch right here. I have my little Bible in there. And look, outlets for days. Like, look, outlets for days. And I meant to tell y'all, over here, see? Outlets for days. Like, I'm never running out of outlets. I was so concerned that I wasn't going to have enough outlets. But you know what? All you do is get a surge protector with the on-off switch, of course. I also have my suitcase under there. That's just my weekend bag for when I go home. So right here, this would have to be my favorite section of the room besides the bed, you know what I'm saying? Cause look at Coffee Keurig, Coffee Keurig. Uh, this was a gift from my godmother, so shout out to you, thank you. I keep my Keurig right there. I usually keep one mug right here. I have my Bible sitting right next to me. You know, that, that should imply that I should be reading it every night, but you know. Anyways, I also have my book. This is Squirm by Carl Hassan. Hassan? I don't know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, I used to watch this movie growing up. It was called Hoot, and he just came out with this book called Squirm. So I was like, I'm buying it, and I still need to read it. I've been slacking off on reading. I also have some K-Cups back there at the, at the moment. It's pumpkin spice. Yes, it does taste good. And I have my special vegetarian supplements, all right? So first drawer, uh, this is where I keep all my coffee mugs. I got sugar, creamer, other extra coffee. If you look on the very bottom, you'll find out that I have some tea. Shout out to you, godmother, thank you. Uh, second drawer, snacks. This snack drawer was filled up to the brim at one point, but I have been eating. So yeah, now it looks like this. This is what I have in there at the moment. Uh, third drawer. I have my little safe where it has some money in it, some vitamin D's, extra earplugs, my, what's it called, my clothes steamer, because I didn't bring an iron with the ironing board and whatnot, I just brought a steamer, which I haven't even been using. Some trash bags, that's that drawer, and this is basically a bunch of water bottles, so originally I was refilling them and, you know, stuff like that, but there's this recycle madness thing going on, so I'm going to save them and, yeah, donate my recycles, so now I'm just collecting them in there at the moment. Uh, let's see. Moving back on this side, you get three drawers. You can, like, rearrange your room any way you want to. I just thought this was the nicest way for me. Kind of already the way that they had it. Uh, first drawer, you got socks and, you know, other stuff in there. Second drawer, uh, basically I threw my, I'll, bas I'll throw my pajamas in here, the ones that I'm wearing. Uh, hair products that I'm not using at the moment. Soaps and face stuff and hair ties. Just, that's all this drawer. And then this drawer is shirts. Shirts. I actually have a lot of shirts. I did not think I was going to buy this many. Well, not really buy. You know, they give them out for free. Like, all these shirts. Oh, my goodness. But, all right. Now, on to my second favorite part of the room. This is my bed. So, at first, I was making it up to look really pretty and whatnot. But now, I kind of don't do that. This linen set came from Amazon. I think Amazon Basics. It was, I think, $40 for the fitted sheet the flat sheet you get a comforter and you get like two pillowcases so i said that was pretty good this blanket right here oh my goodness my aunt sent me this for a graduation gift and y'all this blanket i think it was like 60 dollars, and i was like whoa but y'all this blanket is so warm and it blocks out light which is great because dior she knows this she has this really annoying light like i can show y'all at the end I, you know i'm gonna put a picture of it like right here she has this really annoying light and when she turns it <laughs> when she turns it on it just explodes light throughout the room and it's like oh my goodness dear, turn that light off but anyways uh these are my <laughs> she's recording me okay <laughs> okay uh anyways these are my <laughs> pillows um, I have this one, and let's see, this one says good at naps. This one over here was a gift from my friend. Shout out to you, Maya, because I always text her, and I'm like, girl, I love this pillow. It says sweet dreams, and this one just molds to your body, which is amazing. But I have three these three pillows. I have two regular ones, and let's see, my avocado blanket, which I brought from home. 
And that tapestry, I just found that on Amazon. Like, it didn't even come with the set. But it's like, okay, that worked out. Because look at it. It just matches perfectly. Purple with the purple. But that's a tapestry. And I'm not sure if I showed you this. But above the Keurig, I have just more pictures of friendship. But basically, that's my room. That's my decorations and whatnot. You know, I don't be going all out. Because you have to remember, when you put all this stuff up, you got to take it right on back down. And got to repack it. So I tried to do a, a, a minimalist kind of thing going on. But yeah, here's another overview of the room. And yup, that's basically what we got going on here. All right, y'all, so that was my dorm room tour. Uh, finally got around to doing it. It's pretty nice. You know, maybe I should stick something in right here. Let me stick in my favorite thing about Dior's side of the room, because she's not here, so I can just talk about her side. But I'm gonna turn the phone this way. This is Dior's side. I'm not really going uh, gonna go into deep detail because you know, but that's my favorite thing about her side of the room. She brought a mini fridge and she said I could use it. And you know what? We were joking about this the other day because I kind of took over the mini fridge a little bit, a little bit. Now I took some of my stuff out of there, but it's kind of like, Dior, you rock for the mini fridge. Thank you. But okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up. And I'll talk to y'all this weekend. Bye-bye.